What's going on out there, man? Xavier Porter, shoot the five right here. I'm gonna pour me a little drink real quick while, you know, before we get into this discussion. Shout out to all the supporters, all the subscribers. I appreciate y'all. You know, trying to do something, you know, something new and different. Um, as you can see behind me, Brooklyn fights behind me. It's my team right there. Shout out my partner Nat Wilkins. Shout out my man M Rec. Shout out my man Shout Blue Blood Sports. Shout out um, my man, my man Fred over there, and um, Barbershop Convos. Um, you know, just finished watching the the uh, the Marat uh, Garcia fight against Alexander Usyk, and I'm and I'm saying to myself like, you know, two things that came to my mind. Is Usyk the cruiserweight Lobachenko, or is Gussiev just slow and didn't really know how to adapt to the southpaw stance that was, you know, put in front of him? Needless to say, if Canelo was watching closely, you know, Canelo could use that same blueprint that Gussiev gave, um, I mean, that, um, Usyk gave Gussiev because that was nothing but Abel Sanchez style right there. So that's that's the old Triple G come forward, try to break you down style. And, you know, if Canelo could look at what, what Usyk did to um, Gussiev, then, you know, he could possibly pull off the, he could possibly pull off one of the the, win, the best wins of the year, even though, you know, he eating that tainted meat and all that pause, you know, but it is what it is. If he could pull it off and stick behind that jab, it would be a great look for him. But nonetheless, salute Usyk. You know, he fantastic win. I mean, he put on a clinic out there for real, for real. He put on a boxing clinic. You know, he he. I mean, there was no answer. The jab, the right jab was there. Pop, pop, boom, left down the pipe. He just was moving like he was punching on all different angles, and his footwork was phenomenal. So, like I said, I talked to him, undisputed cruiserweight champion in the world. Got the Ali Trophy to cover it. One of the most prettiest trophies I've ever seen. The Ali Trophy, and he get that prize money. You know, so that's a good look for him. You know, um, I want they they claiming they saying he might go up to heavyweight by 2019. I think he'd be a fool <laughs> to go to heavyweight in 2019. I think he need to sit at cruiserweight and just continue to dominate like he was dom like he dominated Gusev. So, um, you know, like I said, hats off to that man. Um, I definitely would like to see who would challenge him in the cruiserweight division, but at this point, ain't really there's really nobody that can challenge him. With the, with the performance he put on against not just Usyk, but the other guy, I mean, not just Gussie, but the other guys that he faced prior to getting to the finals and, and, and just winning in such a, I mean, phenomenal fashion. So, hats off again. So, um, just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Um, I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all want to talk about. Like I said, hit the, hit the follow, the subscribe, the share button. I'm going to try to continue to bring you more content. I'm going to try to do some daily vlogs, vlogs, whatever y'all call this thing on YouTube, and just kind of, you know, keep y'all abreast of a lot of things that's going on in the boxing scene, the boxing world, as well as the um, MMA. Um, myself and my partner, Nat Wilkins, we just started a podcast. If you head over to the Brooklyn Fights YouTube page, you'll hear the podcast. You'll see the podcast with my other guy, my co-host, Pat DeMoss. We should be coming out with another podcast this coming Tuesday. We're going to talk about the PFL that just happened. Uh, PFL 4 that just took place in our National Coliseum on Thursday. I attended it. I covered it. It was a phenomenal fight card. It was phenomenal what PFL is doing with their playoff um, with their with their playoff system, and you got to win points and everything. And depending on how you win, the submissions and knockouts. Tell me, man, follow PFL. It's a good look out there. You know, next week we got the big one, man. We got Mikey. We got Robert Easter. That should be like a bong bong. Let, let's get it on type of fight. You know, both of them got the style to, to pull off the knockout victory. You know, Mikey is just such a tremendous boxer. Hands down, top to bottom. Balanced, well-balanced, well-schooled, well-trained, well-experienced. You know, well-experienced. Um, Easter, I don't know about that guy. He just loves to fight. <laughs> you know, he just loves to fight, loves to go forward, and loves to bang. You know, you got to love a tall guy who just who throws out all of what everybody expects a tall guy to do. Just, he just loves to fight. He loves to bang. That's that, that's that Ohio in him. So, both champions unifying the belt, you know, should be a great fight in a lightweight division. So stay tuned for that. And um, I'll be back soon, man. Shoot the five.